Hello, my name is Jose Santa Ana, and I'm the product marketing director for Content Hub. So let's dive in. Let's start with a quick refresher of what Content Hub is. The sheer volume of content needed, coupled with marketers having to work with multiple tools, disjointed systems, convoluted processes, and an inability to collaborate, has created a content crisis. Sidecar Content Hub helps solve this crisis by allowing marketers to work in synergy, not silos, on one unified platform that facilitates collaboration and streamlines processes for all content stakeholders, while also providing feedback on content effectiveness to help with the next round of content planning and creation. So what's new with Content Hub for the remainder of the year? So on February 9th, we're launching Content Hub 4.0. Uh, Content Hub helps marketers do a lot of things. They help them effectively plan, create, collaborate on, manage, and deliver content. But for 4.0, we are launching new capabilities focusing on the deliver aspect of content, the publishing or sharing or delivering of content that's stored and managed in Content Hub. So how are we doing this? What's new in terms of delivery? First, we are delivering headless content delivery or content as a service. Uh, we've talked about it in the past, um, uh, and we're now launching it uh, as available with Content Hub 4.0. Um, additional functionality or additional uh, capabilities in terms of uh, more targeted content delivery um, through improved variation management, as well as improved collaboration and sharing of assets with both internal and external stakeholders are new to Content Hub 4.0 as well. Um, and finally, in terms of uh, pushing product content out or syndicating the product content down to downstream apps or e-commerce sites that will pick up the data, the product data, um, we have a partnership for doing that with our company called Products Up, uh, and we're improving our integration with them through Content Hub 4.0. So Content as a Service, our capabilities built upon our Content Hub SaaS platform that allows marketers, allows brands to perfect their content strategy with the centralized planning and collaboration tools found within Content Hub, and then publish that atomic content to this extremely scalable delivery platform which is Experience Expert Content Hub, so that the content can be pulled out through high-performing APIs, GraphQL APIs, to any channel on demand. So what are those CAS or Content as a Service capabilities? So in order to deliver Content as a Service, uh, we have two new components that we're launching with Content Hub 4.0. First is that delivery platform. Uh, that you know, in our in our analogy, brings the content out from Content Hub to the edge. Uh, we're branding it a Sidecore Experience Edge for Content Hub, um, and more details will be available in a separate uh, recorded session. Um, but in a nutshell, what it is uh, at the delivery platform, it's it's a multi-tenant edge delivery subsystem, uh, which has you know the delivery database of all the content. It has you know edge workers. Are you calling it for Cloudflare? It, where the content is cached and it's served at the edge. Uh, so it's being moved from Content Hub to the edge so that when you want the content, you know, you get it faster with better performance and speed because it's cached at the edge. Um, and then the third piece of the delivery platform is a, a delivery GraphQL endpoint, uh, which provides a modern API consumption methods for front end developers to pull out the content from the delivery platform. Um, and then the second component that's new with Content Hub in order to support content as a service, you, you know, you can't just pull out content willy-nilly from Content Hub. So we also built additional functionality to support CAS within Content Hub. The first is a schema and data publisher, uh, where you know it's easy to publish the schema out to your GraphQL API so that the developer knows you know, how your data is structured, how your content is structured. But that also not just delivering the schema, but also delivering the content or the data to the delivery platform from Content Hub. Then we also created content collections uh, where you know, marketers can segregate and organize their content for you specifically, um, headless content delivery. So you might have you know, a different space for your regular content that you're managing Content Hub, but you want to separate a separate, you know, segregate a separate space for the content specifically that you want to publish headlessly. So we now allow that you know, collection specific for uh, headless um, access. Um, and it also provides granular and secure uh, developable access um, you know, to the resources within that um, 
collection that we just created for, for headless access. And then we finally also built a preview GraphQL um, APIs. Um, so like the delivery GraphQL APIs, um, but you can also you know, consume the content in preview mode for in progress items. So not just the finished um, content, but you, know, um, you can also preview the content in your uh, segregated spaces, your content collections uh, using the, uh, the preview GraphQL um, APIs. So we built this functionality on Content Hub itself so that it can now support tasks through that delivery platform, Experience Edge for Content Hub. So what are the benefits of content as a service? So there are benefits to both personas, both users of this offering. For marketers, uh, we're able to separate the content that they're creating from the presentation layer that's built by the developers uh, for any channel. Um, but in addition to that, they get all the benefits that they get from the underlying Content Hub solution. So they get flexible content modeling, uh, they can create relations or collections to allow different ways of navigating and discovering content. You have the flexible workflows for creating, approving, uh, managing, and publishing content. And you get the efficiency and cost savings by eliminating silos in your content production process. Um, by centralizing the content production and allowing for you to reuse and centralization of uh, creation processes. Um, and for the developers, uh, they get the flexibility in their choice of front end and content delivery networks. It's easy to plug into their existing DevOps environment. Um, they're able to use uh, structured data uh, and reusable atomic content to publish to any uh, channel that they want uh, because it supports multi-channel, multi-experience delivery and it can offer faster time to value and faster content velocity than the traditional um, you know, um, content delivery methodologies. In addition to content as a service, we also have additional functionality in Content Hub 4.0 to help with easier delivery and sharing of the content within Content Hub. So first is more targeted content delivery through improved variation management. So what's variation management? So you may have one piece of content um, that you need to adapt or change um, to depending on different channels maybe, or different personas, audiences, or, or, or different regions. So there's one piece of content, but then you may have five variations to address different audiences, regions, or, or channels. Uh, and so instead of creating, you know, instead of tracking them as five different pieces of content, now we can track them as variations of that one piece of content. So we have improved variation or adaptation management um, within Content Hub 4. That also it's easier to query and consume these variations rather than you know searching for you know five different content pieces. You just search for one piece and then what are the variations associated with that one content item? Um, and we allow this to be um, this variation management is allowed uh, to be used across any Content Hub item, not just you know content pieces, but it could be also products. You can have product variations, etc. Uh, within PCM. So improve variation management to help with more targeted content delivery with Content Hub 4.0. And then the second piece is improved collaboration and sharing of assets both with internal and external um, stakeholders. So we have improved the user experience when you're adding assets to a collection. Uh, we've improved the sharing of single or bulk assets via email. And we also improve the sharing of, of you know, the downloaded orders and public links. So if you're sending it out to your agencies or your partners and you want to share your content using public links or, or download orders, it's now easier to do so with Content Hub 4.0. Um, 